Welcome back for another video guys and today we're going to be pattern testing some duck and goose loads. So my friends over at Federal sent me some shotgun shells to do a patterning video with so I want to give a huge shout out to them for sponsoring this video. We've got a few different duck and goose loads to do. I thought about making this a duck load and then a goose load video so two different videos and I was thinking what about black cloud versus blue box and then I was like nah we'll just lump it all into one video and uh, compare everything. So I think we're going to pattern shells at 25 and 40 yards so two different shooting situations where uh, you know you normally shoot birds at. You're either shooting them 25 and 40 is about like the max distance that you want to shoot. So we're going to be testing the uh, three inch two shot one and a quarter ounce uh, blue box. We're going to be testing the three inch uh, two shot one and one eighth ounce and black cloud three inch four shot one and one eighth ounce black clouds three and a half inch double B's one and a half ounce three and a half inch two shot one and a half ounce and three inch double B's one and one eighth ounce black clouds. So we've got six different types of shells to use. All of these shot sizes are shot sizes that I use. I have never use three and a half inch two shot so I'm kind of curious to see what that looks like but uh, we're going to pattern these and take a look at them but something you need to keep in mind and I will keep this in mind as well we are shooting different size pellets and that means there are going to be more pellets of smaller shot and less pellets of bigger shot so in a three inch two shot there's going to be more BBs than a three inch double B so we'll keep that in mind as we shoot I'm just curious to see the pattern density and uh, how the patterns differ from 25 to 40 yards each. So I'm excited to this. And once again, I want to give a huge shout out to Federal for sending these shells in and sponsoring today's video. Now for my shotgun, I'm going to be using my Winchester SX4 12 gauge. All of these shells are 12 gauge shells. I've got my Kix High Flyer Modified Choke in. This is the choke that I always use when I'm shooting ducks and geese. So that is what we're going to be doing. I'm excited. So let's go ahead and get started. It's starting to rain. And it's raining pretty good. We're gonna just start out with 25 yards on everything and uh, I'm gonna shoot it right here. Camera's gonna stay in the barn. This will work out perfectly. I might get a little bit wet, but who cares? So we're gonna start out with the old trusty dusty. This is like my go-to every duck hunt shell right here. This is my three inch two shot one and a quarter ounce. So um, let's give it a go and see what it patterns at with 25 yards. It's a little wet out there. Pattern looks pretty good. I, I don't know how this is gonna work with all the rain. Let's be real here, but pattern a little bit low. Could have been from my shooting, could have been from the shell. Hard to know, but it's pretty good dense pattern. I'm gonna set it over here. Actually, I gotta write on it, say what it is, and then we'll do the next shell at 25 yards. Up next, we're going to be doing the Black Cloud 3-inch 2-shot. That one looks really good. Now we're going to do Black Cloud 3-inch 4-shot, 1 and 1 8 ounce. That one was a little low. Could have been me, though. Now we're going to be doing 3.5-inch 2-shot, 1 and 1 ounce at 25 yards. Black Cloud 3 inch double B at 25 yards. These are all patterning pretty good. And lastly, three and a half inch double B, one and a half ounce at 25 yards. Okay, let's go take a look at everything. Okay, so we're gonna start this off in order that we shot. So this was the first shot, it was a three inch two shot at 25 yards. This side up here is the bottom of the target, up here is the top. So looks like a pretty decent pattern. There's a lot, a lot of tightness right in the middle, just like we want. So we had 133 total hits on this, and um, this was the blue box, three inch, two shot. So I'm happy with this. It looks great. It's a good pattern. I might have aimed a little bit low, but you know, that's just human error. That's gonna happen. But overall, it's not like anything crazy at 25 yards. Most of, all of these patterns at 25 yards are good. So it's just, I'm just showing you guys what I got here. This is the Black Cloud 3 inch 2 shot at 25 yards. We had 132 hits. So we had 133 with the blue box. So it was just one difference. It could have been a counting error, error for all I know. But I think this pattern looks a little bit 
better than the last one. I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. Um, this one's pretty consistent throughout. I might have just had a better, better aim on the middle. Um, sometimes that's all it takes. But actually, yeah, this this does look a little bit more uh, even, evenly spaced. But overall, both of these patterns, it's not going to matter at 25 yards. It just takes one pellet, and uh, they're done. Black Cloud 3-inch 4 shot at 25 yards. We had 167 hits. So like I said at the beginning of the video, this is 4 shot. The other ones were 2 shot. So there's obviously going to be more pellets on target here because it is a smaller shot. So this one, once again, I might have aimed a little bit low. Just a little bit of human error there. But overall, pretty evenly spaced. You're going to hit a duck. I mean, if, in, if it's in any vicinity of this 30-inch circle, um, that duck's gone. So it's, it's going to be falling out of the sky. Now we're moving up to the bigger shells. This is the three and a half inch two shot at 25 yards. We had 162 hits. What was it for the first one here? We had 132. So um, we got 30 more pellets on target. So that might just be the 30 extra pellets in that three and a half inch shell. But overall, I mean, this is just, it's a phenomenal pattern right here in the middle. Um, but then again, you do want it to kind of spread out a little bit. This is why your choke choice matters. Um, this is why I choose a modified choke for pretty much all applications when it comes to waterfowl hunting. Your modified choke can be pretty pretty well standard for everything. You can shoot ducks at 10 yards. You can shoot them at 40 yards. I really like that choke a lot. So it gives us a, a decent pattern here at 25 yards. And now we have the Black Cloud 3-inch double B. So, um, you know, it's, it's a bigger shot size. There's obviously going to be less pellets on target. We had 63 hits on this target. And, um, you know... It's pretty well evenly spaced. Um, there are a few outliers. It's a, it's a little more dense on this side than that side, but I could have been aiming a little high on this one. But um, overall, I mean, that, that's, that's a dead bird right there. And the last one here is the three and a half inch double B at 25 yards. We had 85 hits on target. What was the last one? It, it said uh, 63, so we got 22 more hits on target. I, I think I aimed a little low on this guy as well, but overall, I mean, that's a pretty decent pattern. Anything in this 30-inch circle should go down. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that same thing one more time, except at 40 yards, and we'll start out with the 3-inch two-shot blue box. Up next, we got the 3-inch two-shot black cloud. Three inch four shot black cloud is next. Three and a half inch two shot. Now we got black cloud three inch double B's. And the last one for today is the three and a half inch double B speed shot. Okay, so here are the results. I don't know if this camera is going to pick everything up very well, but um, you know that's just kind of how it's going to go. I'm very surprised with this first one. This was the three-inch two-shot speed shock. We got 121 pellets on target at 40 yards, and on the original one, the uh, three-inch two-shot at 25 yards, we got um, 133 pellets on target. So we only missed 12 pellets off target. And uh, I'm very surprised, especially with modified choke. I mean, this is this is a phenomenal pattern for 40 yards, and especially coming from that uh, three-inch two-shot. That's a, just a good all-around shell to use for duck hunting. I'm glad to see how that patterns really well. Up next, we've got the black cloud three-inch two-shot at 40 yards, and we only got 54 pellets on target. You know, still a pretty decent pattern. It's spread out, which is what you would expect, and. Uh, it's, it's pretty uniform, and, you know, it's, it's spaced out evenly, which is good. Black Cloud 3-inch 4 shot, we got 93 hits, and it's spaced out pretty evenly. Definitely a 40-yard shot, but it is, it, it's, it's a decent pattern. Uh, there's not any, like, super tight places. Most of it is kind of in this general vicinity right here. So, once again, very evenly spaced out. That's what you want. Uh, three and a half inch two shot at 40 yards. We got 101 hits, and so this one it it's kind of there are some holes in it, but that's all right. 
Uh, overall, it does fill out the circle pretty well in 101 hits. That's a lot of pellets in one 30 inch circle. So uh, I would say that's a pretty decent pattern at 40 yards. Now the three inch double B black cloud here, we only got 38 hits. The original one, we got like 60 some shots. So uh, we did lose a, a, about 20 pellets or so, but um, you know, I probably wouldn't feel super confident taking this shot at uh, 40 yards at a bird with a three inch double B. Um, you definitely could, there's definitely a decent chance that you'd hit the bird, but just how spaced out this is, I wouldn't necessarily say that's the best shot in the world to be taking over and over and over again. And the last one is the three and a half inch double B at 40 yards. We got 67 hits. This was the speed shock. And th something interesting here is there are quite a few gaps uh, around this pattern. It seems like it's just kind of in one long line. So maybe I could have jumped when I was shooting and just pulled the end of the barrel up and it kind of adjusted that shot string. But um, overall, this is a decent pattern I would say other than these gaps right here but overall just like in the center where I was aiming there's still a good concentration of pellets so that that's uh, not too bad 67 hits I don't know how that compares to the other one I think we had like 80 or 90 something so um, you know still not horrible we didn't lose a lot of pellets it's not like there's like four pellets on target there's still a decent amount of them so generally speaking overall the best performing shell of today was this Speed shock, three inch, two shot, one and a quarter ounce. So, I mean, it, 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 at 40 yards, it was phenomenal. I did not expect it to pattern that well. And um, all the other ones, you know, they didn't do horrible. All of these are good shells, and I would shoot them, especially at 25 yards. Any of these shells would work. It doesn't matter what you're shooting. Uh, I would say probably if you're shooting ducks at 25 yards, I'd say steer away from the three and a half inch double B and the three three and a half inch two shot. Um, even double Bs might be a little bit too big for some ducks. Mallards, you can get away with shooting double Bs. But um, overall, all of these shells performed excellent. I'm not disappointed with any of them. I would just have to say that this three inch two shot, one and a quarter ounce speed shock, it blew my mind how well. I had to like double check everything after I counted that 40 yard shot. I'm like, there's no way. There's no way that, but I guess it happened. So I guess my gun really does like these shells in and of itself. So that brings me to my next point. Just because these shells pattern well in my gun doesn't mean that it's going to pattern well in every gun. You got to get out there, try a whole bunch of different shells and find what works best for your gun. And this three inch two shot, that's my go-to duck load. Uh, for geese, I do like shooting double Bs. I feel like they do a little bit of a better job, especially with the greater Canada's that I get with lessers these would be my go-to all day long. Same thing with snow geese. So um, choose your shot size according to what, you, what species you're hunting. I made a video on that before in the past. I'm pretty happy that I got a chance to come out and do this this summer, and uh, I'm thoroughly impressed with uh, the Speed Shock 3-inch 2-shot. So uh, I would recommend giving it a try if you uh, haven't already. I mean, these things, they're not very expensive at all. They're probably like 12 bucks a box for these shells. I also want to throw it out there that you are shooting a shotgun, not a rifle. So I was watching uh, the Dukes of Hazard movie last night, and uh, they were, one of the characters had the whammy shells, and they punched a hole through a turkey. I mean, I've seen a lot of people with choke tubes and stuff that that's claim that they're super tight patterns, and, you know, that's great. That's great if you're trying to shoot a turkey, get all the pellets right in the face. Awesome. But when you're duck hunting, you do want a little bit of forgiveness. You don't want a crazy tight pattern all the time. So you want your pellets to spread out and you want to be able to like swing through and have a chance to hitting them. Because if your pattern's too tight, then you're going to end up missing quite, quite frequently. And so if you find yourself in the field, you're missing a lot. I would say take it down from a full choke to a modified choke or a modified choke to an improved cylinder. So just try it out. See, see what works best for you and go with it. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave me a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. It means a lot when you guys do that. If you want to help support the channel, go ahead and pick up one of these hats or one of these shirts by clicking the link at the top of the description. It'll take you over there and uh, you can pick one up. You can also follow me on my social media. I've got a Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that is all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you on the next one.